Hey guys, this video is going to show you how to take your hard drive out of a uh, computer that won't start for you, getting the blue screens and everything. There's no way to start your computer. You have to take that hard drive out and put it in a working computer. And when you do that, it's going to scan for errors. And if it doesn't scan automatically, you can uh, go into that computer and set up a manual scan. It'll scan your hard drive and it'll find errors on why it won't start up for you. Or in the blue screen it mentions a certain driver file. You can go into that into your hard drive that you just put in this working computer and delete that file name and then put it back into your computer and it should start. But I'm going to show you how to uh, actually take your hard drive out and put it in a working computer so you can do all that. Or you know at the, at the most you would have to reinstall your hard drive or or at the most you'd have to reinstall your operating system but you want to be able to save your data first you know your documents music and all that stuff so I'm going to show you you know putting your hard drive in another working computer you can save all your data and then put it back in your computer reinstall your windows so like always if you have any questions you know leave me comments and, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later Here's a typical computer. Uh, this is actually one I just finished putting together. The first thing you want to do is take the side covers off. And you'll notice some of them have the quick release screws, some of them will have the Phillips head screws. There's usually only two, one at the top and one at the bottom. If you've got a solid cover, uh, five screws all together, two on each side and one at the top. And once you've got the screws out, you should be able to just pry, peel it back. Sometimes they'll come really stiff, but they should move pretty easy. And you might have to unplug the fan. And set your covers down where they won't get hurt. And this will slide off. Sometimes they're really tight, and you got to really push. front face plate. You take your old hard drive, you plug it into the, new, the working computer. Okay, now you've got your hard drive. And the reason we took both covers off is because you, get, you might have screws in the back too. But you can see where your hard drive is, you got to take those screws out too. And it just slides out. Try not to touch the circuit board underneath. Now this one happens to be a serial, serial connection, which is this thin red cable. And there's two different kinds of drives. You've got this one's IDE. See the IDE cable and your power. You got your power and your IDE cable. Don't worry about the jumpers, because what I'm going to show you is how to get away from them. Just wiggle these back and forth a little bit and they come right out. And that's the serial ATA. It's got a serial port and a power supply. Some of the older drives are ID, IDE, and you have a, a heavy cable like this. With those, those are just as easy to change. You unplug the cable real easy, just kind of wiggle it back and forth. And then you'll notice inside, you've got your CD-ROMs, the back of your CD-ROMs. Just wiggle those back and forth and unplug those. You can also unplug the power to them. Just wiggle that back and forth 
and eventually it'll come out. Some of them are really tight. You plug your, your old hard drive into the ID cable from the CD-ROMs and plug the power supply from the CD-ROM into your old hard drive. And when you restart the computer, it'll see this. This drive is a secondary drive because it's on the secondary cable. Now if they if they both happen to be serial drives, let's take this one out of here for a minute. So if you happen to have a serial drive, you can see where it's plugged in at. And if you've got serial drives, you've got more than one. And you can also plug your secondary serial drive in there. And then when you start your computer, it'll know which drive is the master and which is the slave. You're going to have your corrupt hard drive just lying there beside that. Then you start this computer and then scan this hard drive, which is your old one. It'll scan that hard drive and search for errors. Okay, once you've got your hard drive installed and it didn't run a scan for you, you go to My Computer, whether it's on your desktop or in your Start menu. But instead of double-clicking on it, you want to right-click and go to Explore. That'll show you a list of your drives. You know, if you only had one drive, that'll be your C drive, that's your main drive that was in the working computer. And your second drive, uh, you won't see any CD-ROMs because you unplugged the CD-ROM cable. So your second drive will probably be D, but it'll be another local disk. And you can go in there and access all your files, go into your Windows directory and manually delete the file that was causing your problem if it shows up on your blue screen. Right click on your hard drive and go to properties and then go up to tools and go to error checking and click check now. Auto automatically fix file system errors and scan for and attempt recovery of bad sectors. And then you click start and it'll tell you that it can't run the scan at this time it needs to restart. Would you like to do that? Click yes and that'll start the scan for you. Or if you just want to go in and save your documents, you go into the, the hard drive on the working computer, click on the C drive, right click anywhere here in the white space, right click, go to new, new folder, then type it um, saved or whatever you want. Okay, and you'll see now it shows up over here. You go into documents and settings, click on your username, and then you can access your documents from there. This is my document. And then just highlight all your documents or one file at a time. But right now I'm going to show you how to copy and paste so you can do that. And you can either copy and paste the whole folder or just a file, one file at a time. Hold down your left mouse and drag it across all your files and then right click copy and then go back up to that folder that you created and right click paste. Or you can go into each folder and just select one file at a time and right click copy and then go back up to saved and right click paste and you can save all your all your documents that way or any other um, files that you want to save you can do that the same way whether your downloads um, all your music um, anything that you've saved or that you want to save you can now get off of that hard drive